Hello everyone and welcome back to my tutorial and today we will continue um, create our uh, house so uh, last time we finished with the messing model actually not finished we just under the finish uh, I hope you didn't delete your messing model because we need to use it uh, for this tutorial too okay let's say uh, I will switch on the my messing model and you will see here is my messing model let's continue to create our building uh, why I said we need still we need our mm, messing model because as you can see here right here we need to create our mm, wall but we doesn't have any wall uh, so um, that's why we will use mm, the messing form to create the form with the mm, wall let's I will uh, load our references where is my references I think it's here and let's check it out as you can see here the wall but actually here the wall straight wall uh, let's check it out more. Yeah, here the straight wall. So as you can see here, we don't have any straight wall. So what we're gonna do? Yes, we need to cut our messing form. Okay, so how we can do that? Uh, I will go inside to the our model, to the model place, and let's I'll use the left view. And now we will create one more rectangular. Let's create the one more rectangular. Let's check first uh, where is our set uh, work plane. I want to set my work plane. And let's use the work plane. Which can we use the work plane? Let's the view work plane. Okay, we can use this work plane. The awesome. And we will create the rectangular here. From this side, and something like that. It will be enough. Uh, okay, so uh, let's select our profile. And now let's create the void form and let's extrude it inside so like this okay and now we need cut let's cut this form from this one so as you can see we get the straight form here let's finish this mess uh, as you can see we need to update our wall let's update our wall extrude the host wall basic let's update it and i'll update and and this wall it's already updated so let's say i'll delete this wall and i'll create the new one the, let's use this symmetric symmetrical one and where's the my wall here's my wall and let's use the pick the face let's pick the face of course we get some warning but as you can see we get here the wall uh, but it's actually not right we not want to like this uh, what i'm gonna do i will uh, attach to the the second floor and after that I want to use the slice to this wall okay so now I will use the align and let's align it to this one or I will do it I will do it manually okay because we have the uh, walls in same point okay and let's go to the first level the first level here is our first level and let's connect it it's here this one to that point okay I said that point something wrong unjoin element okay and let's join it okay let's go to 3d okay we did it and now we need only one wall in the middle side okay let's go again to the wall let's use the pick the face and let's pick this face now we need normal connection because now it's a normal connection we will uh, connect to the to the uh, base i will sw unswitch off now uh, my messing because i cannot see anything okay and now we need connect this wall with these things actually everything all right let me check one more time yeah everything all right i think no one more time Mm -hmm. here we should change the connection we will do that right now we need level mm, we need level i think le roof level so let's create the roof level i will go to the view here i need the my plants floor plants and i need roof one let's open up as you can see here is connections of terrible right so we will go to the modify and here you should find the connections wall joints uh, just connect on this side 
and let's check it out how we can connect okay so uh, this is more much better let's check it out how we can work it more so this is already not working let's enjoin it and let's i'll use the tr mm -hmm. so this is pretty close i saved this one and that one and i don't need this part i will delete it and now we need work only with this side okay so uh let's make it like this let's change it okay i think it's something yeah this is what we want let's go to 3d and as you can see this is what we want and now let's connect to the roof done so yeah it's taking the time you should think about the joints but once you will did it done it's working this is not actually finished as you can see here the wall on the only one level but if you will check the references as you will see here we have the on the level below too so this is also the straight wall as you can see it on the same direction like here so we will a bit extrude it to the uh, level below how we can do that just select this wall you can see here the base constraint level one so, so it's uh, it's really terrible because base offset is 10,000 meters uh, 10, 10 meters sorry i will say the uh, base offset zero and uh, my first level will be level number three so this is more correct and as you can see here the top constraint is also unconnected so this is also a terrible thing because the our top level is roof number two let's change to the roof number two it's not will change but data inside uh, this wall will save as we changed okay so we get our wall so this is more pretty right and now we need create one more wall mm, on the level two let's go to the level two and as you can see here is terrible connection so let's prepare it because it cannot be like this let's go to 3d because you always should check what's going on on 3d and as you can see we get here the some uh, some problem right uh, so let's fix it up on the first level and as you can see this is not what we want a little bit extruded so done let's go to 3d so here everything all right let's go back to the level 2 here's everything all right so you should be always keep in touch your plans and your 3d don't forget about it because your 3d is equal to your plans okay mm, as you can see here actually the wall we're going like a curve as i know it because uh, if we will check the plans you will see this is curve and this is exactly a smaller curve like the second cylinder so it should be to go like this uh, we have like a lot of ways we can use now for example the model in place we can use the our mess form or we can just draw it by by us ourselves mm, so i will choose the second way i mean the last way because this is more pretty right for us we know the uh, direction and we know the uh, distance uh, to the radius so the last way is more useful let's go to the architecture wall and we will use the some uh, thickness wall like 100 uh, one, 150 millimeters interior wall let's find it okay i have the here the generic wall 150 millimeters and now i will change only the uh, height and constraint you can see eight meters so this is not right we are on the level two so the height it should be finished on the uh, level three okay and our first level it's level two okay and our location line it's um uh, wall center so this is not right we will change to the finish exterior and type of the drawing we will use the arc start and point let's click on this side let's click on that side now i will use the space bar just use the space bar and we will change the direction and now Revit will try to help us get the um, direction so as you can see i cannot get direction of that one so this is terrible uh so let's check let's check it out uh direction okay here only 5000 so we can use this line like a reference all we will just can type 5000 millimeter i will use the again second way so let's do it again the arc one second space bar and 5000 millimeter enter so this is pretty enough for us we did it uh, let's go to 3d always check on the 3d and as you can see we get our wall this is exactly like we want it's following 
our curve okay and now I find the other problem as you can see here so we need now level 3 let's use the view and plants we need now level 3 let's go to the level 3 and as you can see we have here the problems okay this is not so cool let's try to fix it up let's go to 3d so we fixed the left side but we didn't fix this one let's fix it up it's here as you can see so this is our wall actually our wall should be connect on that side let's use the trim i'm using now trim and let's trim it up so here's some problem actually with the mm, with dimension undo an element i will use tr and let's connect it okay so this is what i want let's go now to 3d i think there will be everything all right but we will check it out so here everything all right okay here, here again the problems uh let's go to the level three level roof one let's fix it up okay again 3d so yeah as you understand you should control everything so everything now right as you can see here is everything all right here is everything all right and we can continue work we already finished with all the walls all the main walls so what we're gonna do now now we need levels I mean the floors uh, actually uh, we can uh, switch off our walls because we will create only the levels or you can uh, leave it up and just go to the messing side let's use uh, let's show our mess and let's check it out where we need the floors if we need the first level we need the second level and here only that part here we need only that part okay so the only two levels we need right now let's do that just select your mess mess floors and first two levels let's say okay and we get first two levels now we need to think about it because we need on the uh, level three on the only in one cylinder let's say uh, let's create the level three and let's create level four this is means roof so we done we done and now let's create let's create the uh, floors I uh, again you go, go to the floor and now you just apply where you want to uh, use the material I mean the floor I will use the 160 millimeters concrete so this one for that one of course that one and last one we will create by ourselves let's create floors uh, the first uh, two first level and the second level is pretty right but the third level it's not right let's go to the level three and let's change our floor I will change it oh I will change it just double click on it and you will see now material oh we are going inside to the mess so I will switch off the my mess I don't need mess I need to change the boundary of my uh, floor I will select everything that one and let's check it out one more time as you can see the it's going uh, like the curve here there, right oh not curve it's going till the wall so it's going to the wall let's make it till until the wall and all my wall uh, I mean all the my floors should be go inside to the wall not outside okay let's make the TR and we did the wall I mean floor sorry I not no I don't want to connect to the uh, floors uh, or to the walls no I don't want to connect let's go to 3d and as you can see here is my floor on this side pretty pretty right let's now change this on this side too I will go to the level 2 let's select uh, my floor edit boundary actually I don't need any boundary here so it means you can do it manually but uh, I just show you how you can use uh, my sync form so you can create by my sync form or you can do manually as I'm doing right now because as you can see by manually you controlling more things than you doing by yourself by uh, automatically I mean so let's let's see so here is the problem no it's not a big problem yeah it's like this here is like this and let's use the TR always you should use TR 
that one. Here everything alright. Here also I should use TR. So TR is stream. Let's use a line. I need to align it to the wall. And here it's already to the wall. Let's say okay. What is that that line? I think this is underlay. So we did it. And let's go now to the le level 1. Let's do the same thing. Actually, we can copy from the level 2. Let's do it. Just select that one, copy it, paste, just open it, align to the level, level 1. Done. So it's under level 1 as you can see. Okay, why I don't want to connect to the wall, you will ask me. Because now I'm working with walls and uh, floors and sometimes Revit will uh, get some error message like you should enjoy geometry. So when I will finish, once I will finish work with uh, walls and floors, of course I will connect it. Right now I don't need this uh, error message. So we will continue the walls, uh, especially we will continue to create the curtain wall in the next tutorial. For today it's finished guys, thank you for watching and see you next time. To support my channel you can go to Gumroad, check that my store, there you can find bottle of this dynamo scripts or you can buy two story complete house or even the two story residential classic house. By this way you supporting my channel and you making me happy to creating the new videos for you guys. And that's it from today, thank you guys for watching, don't forget to subscribe my social media, leave some comments for this video and give some like and see you next time.